We just came up to the mountains again. We're getting Jimmy John's now so that we can have something to eat. And I'm super excited. So we got our fuel for going up to the mountains. We're going up to um, do some shooting and some archery. And we're gonna have a blast. I'll bring you along. Bring it here. Good job. Good job. <laughs> scared me. Huh? It scared me. Did I get it? Oh, you see how the water's not even coming out? No. That's crazy. That was really good grouping. Hole right in the heart. Yep. Whoa. going on a little bit of a hike want to want to lay down in my hammock soon and enjoy that we kind of have some storm clouds overhead so I'm not sure if the uh, if it's gonna rain or not we did some shooting. Now Garrett's up there doing some shooting. Look how big and beautiful that tree is. Look at these tiny little flowers. I don't even know if it'll focus on them. That is so small. That is crazy. I don't think I've ever seen flowers that small before. They're like the size of a freckle. Look at these little trumpet-like flowers. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. They're so small. There's so many of them too and you don't even notice them. Our God is amazing. There's some more flowers. He's pointing with his back foot. There he goes. <laughs> oh. It was.
was just a woodpecker that I allowed him to chase. <laughs> Come on, you nerd. Get up here. Step up. Yes, step up. There you go. Oh, good boy. Lay down. <laughs> Settle. Lay down. There you go. This is the life. So nice out here. The, all the birds chirping and the beautiful aspen trees. Hammock is just swaying a little bit and Colt is snuggling with me. Super peaceful. And uh, Garrett's up shooting at the top of the hill right now um, into another like ravine area. So it's not anywhere near us, but I can see him and he can see me and we're just enjoying our time up in the mountains. Glad that we were able to come back today, even if I left um, camping early because of my health. Um, being able to come back up and enjoy some shooting and archery is really nice. I seriously miss summer and using this hammock um, it's amazing and relaxing just to be able to go up and be in the wilderness and be out and not waste that much energy being able to just lay here and relax is really nice and I like it because uh, this hammock I can turn either way in like long ways or short ways and still be comfortable so it could be kind of like um, lounging like a sit lounge or a lay and it's also a hammock um, weight tested to a really high amount of pounds and it's for two people so me and Garrett and Colt can all fit in this thing and me and Colt can fit in it like extremely comfortably which is normally it's just me and him and Garrett's doing stuff other stuff and like right now he's shooting but it's just really nice to be able to lay here with Colt and listen to the birds and stuff so I've been sitting here enjoying it it's amazing
shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me there's no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me there's no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up So Colt just alerted to a seizure. I sent him up to get my medication from the truck and he brought it back down to me and I took it. And so we will see if the medicine kicks in or not and prevents the seizure. Um, if it doesn't, I'm just going to have the seizure in the hammock. My dog does alert a second time if the seizure is going to happen and the meds didn't prevent it. So. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm sure the hammock's going to be a more comfortable place to have a seizure than the forest floor. So it's pretty nice that I have it set up right now. Um, it would be like my first time. Yeah, I think it's my first time having a seizure in the hammock. I've passed out in it before, but um, having a seizure, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking it would be more comfortable, so I guess we'll see. Seizures in general suck, but... Um, you know, it's better than being on a log or something in the middle of the forest. So Colt's just up here snuggling with me and we'll see how it goes. So I did end up having a seizure when Colt alerted the second time I sent him to get help. Garrett, like his command, get help. Um, got Garrett and brought him down here so that he can be close by just in case anything happening because he's up shooting with earplugs in and just so that he could be here um uh and i've it's probably been like 40 minutes or so i don't i don't know for sure I've, i was sleeping for a while after um when cole alerted second time i did pre-medicate for head pain and pain after um because I'm not home, I'm in the mountains. Um, best to make sure that I'm more comfortable even though I'm gonna have a seizure in, in the mountains. Um, like how, you know, I get some head pain after and muscle pain and stuff. So I, um, when I knew it was gonna happen for sure, I pre-medicated with my um, pain medication. Um, Sorry, I'm not making much sense. Uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'll talk to you guys later. So I rewatched the video clip that I just did. Um, I was basically saying that after a seizure, I normally have pretty bad head pain and muscle pain. I pre-medicated because I knew it was going to happen. So... Um, I still have some head pain. It didn't quite go all the way, but I feel a lot better than I would have. And being in the mountains, I think that's more important because, um, I would feel like I was, like, suffering all the way home with all the bumps in the roads and stuff. So, but we're here for a while longer, as long as my health, uh, allows so that I can continue resting and everything and um just relax and I feel like the hammock did a pretty good job of supporting me during my seizure I guess because my muscles are very sore and shaky but they're not like I don't feel like I pulled a muscle or tore anything or like dislocated anything because I've dislocated my shoulders and my elbow before um different occasions but you know, I've hurt myself pretty bad during seizures, and it actually felt like um, like the way I feel when I wake up in a bed. So I think the hammock did a pretty good job. Um, it's definitely better than having a seizure on the like forest floor with like a giant log or something. So I'm just going to continue resting and so thankful for Colt. He does have his mobility harness on him, even though he's off duty because I need help mobility wise. Um, so he is off duty, but he's still doing his job alerting and helping with mobility. So he's kind of like on and off, but he's able to go and do stuff that he wants to.
Garrett's trying out the hammock. Do you like it, baby? <laughs> yeah. It's cool, huh? What century is it? You made it a lot closer to the ground than I did. <laughs> uh, it's okay, it's still swinging, so that's good. Look at my arm. It's getting like yellow and purple. Here's your gun. We're trying to chase down the sunset. It's too beautiful to miss. We have to share it with you. Success! Look how beautiful it is. Oh, it's breathtaking. I wish you guys could see it in person. So we had a lot of fun going up there and shooting and doing archery and hanging out in the hammock. Um, I'm glad that I was able to bring you guys along and show you some of the fun things that we did. Um, also Colt alerted while I was shooting, I was like, um, he was like at 100, 150 feet away like in a downstay and he came up and alerted uh, while we were reloading and so that was um, pretty what that was good of him is what Garrett said um, he was pretty far away so that was surprising um, and I just went and laid in the hammock it was a pass out alert so we uh, basically had a great time and I'm ready for bed now, so we're gonna go home and go to bed. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and join the family. We enjoy bringing you guys along on this journey of life. And sometimes it's, you know, there's stuff going on, medical stuff or whatever, and we do like to include you in that as well as the good things, because this is life with a brain injury 
and you know it's good and bad and it's not all good and it's not all bad and I want to show you all of it a little bit of that and then a little bit of the good stuff too so I'm thankful that I can do that with you guys and bring you along and thank you so much for caring and all your support and I will see you later